Hi, my name is Dave Gifford. I'm going to be walking you through a, a new workflow I came up with for taking notes from reading uh, on TiddlyWiki. I've shown other previous uh, incarnations of my note-taking uh, processes before, but this is a new one and I'm really, really liking it, so I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, I'm going to basically just walk you through the workflow and explain it as I go. First, I'm going to create a, a new tiddler, and that tiddler is going to be a source. So I'm going to tag it as a source. That means it's going to be a tiddler for the book or magazine or web page or whatever that I'm that I'm reading. Now I'm going to I'm reading a book in uh, Logos software called Beginning from Jerusalem. It's uh, I'm, I'm a New Testament uh, professor. So I read a lot of New Testament background information, and it's written by someone named Dunn. I could add the bibliographic information. I'm not going to do that just to save some time. Uh, but that's all I'm going to do with Dunn, and I'm going to go ahead and close that, and you'll see that uh, that shows up in the Sources uh, tab in the sidebar. Now I'm going to copy that uh, title, and I'm going to go to the current source tab and I'm going to insert into those first double brackets. I'm going to insert the title of the what's going to be my current source, the source I'm working on, that the source the source that I'm taking notes on. Now I can create, uh, let's say I get to uh, something I'm reading and I find uh, this quote here and I'm going to copy that and it happens to be on page 1122. So I'm going to go in and uh, I'm, it has to do with the book of James, and it uh, has to do with it being exciting. And uh, so I'm going to put that here. Normally, I like to write my own notes out uh, in my own words. I think that's better for learning. But for the sake of the demo, I'm just uh, copying and pasting. Now, I've got this. I'm going to, uh, this is on the, the broader topic of the book of James in the New Testament, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now, I'm going to use this, this uh, button that has like an open book icon, and that's my it paste your current source uh, button. And what that does is paste a link to Beginning from Jerusalem by Dunn. It's my source tiddler that I created. Uh, it's got another some other brackets here, and that's going to be... Uh, uh, quote from page 11, 1122. That way I know what kind of references. Is this, is this, a, quote, uh, is this a, a note in my own language? Is it a paraphrase? Is it a summary? Is it my own idea that was inspired by what Don wrote? Or is it an actual quote? Or is it just a reference to uh, something so that I remember to go back to that page? I just put ref. So there's different. I have different little abbreviations for those that I use, but you can do your own thing. And what happens is this: uh, it's as you can see, it's wrapped in a div class, and the div class is called hidden. That's a CS, CSS class I created. And when I use this uh, eyeball button, I get to see the source, a link to the source, and it's a quote from page 1122. And then I can hide it again. Uh, why do I do that this way? In part, I want the uh, the source and the page number. I want that all right here close to me in case I need to refer to it. But there's a lot of times where seeing something like this is really distracting and cluttering. And so I like if I have like 10 different uh, notes on this page or 20, I'd like to be able to hide them so I can just focus on the content and not on the reference uh, and, and, and page numbers and so forth. So that's the, basically the setup. I'm going to do one more. Uh, we have another quote here. And I'm going to go back to note lines. I'm going to paste it. And it is also a quote from page 1122, and it's also on the book of James, and uh, I'm going to put James overshadowed by Paul. 
And so, and again, I have that there. Now, if I go to the source tiddler, I now have two links back to the two topics I just created. James is exciting, and James can get overshadowed by Paul. These are in alphabetical order. Um, so I can quickly move between them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do, show you these other features that I created. Uh, I had created Stroll, which has a two columns set up, which is sack empty has helped me create that. Uh, but I'm going to, uh, I tried doing this, which is a different way of going about the same thing. I made a really super wide uh, sidebar, really a lot wider than I've ever done before. And uh, I'm going to grab this link and I'm going to put it, paste it here. Now, as you can see, it is the title and the text of James Overshadowed by Paul. And this works for both columns. And uh, I can go back and forth. Now I can, if I want to see two tiddlers side by side, I can do that. Or if, if I want this and that, you know, together. Uh, that's just great for comparing tiddlers or reading things side by side. I also created an, I call it column two edit. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and grab the link, because these titles are links, and I'm going to drop it here. Now I've got the title here as a link, and then I've got the uh, the edited ver editing version of that tiddler here. That way, if I want to, say, add this information, copy, and put it in this particular tiddler, uh, I can do that very quickly. And, uh, of course, I grab the asterisk as well so anyway but uh, yeah so then as you can see uh, it makes it a lot easier to read uh, the tiddler when you get rid of those uh, uh, references and then the last the last uh, tab I can show you is uh, for configuring the user, user interface uh, you can uh, decide what order you want these tags these tabs in. Uh, if you want to have uh, topics way at the top, now you can see it's number two. Or if I want to put it back where it was before, uh, I can put it there. Um, I can also uh, just, uh, I can get rid of the, ooh, the thin gaps. Oh, the thinner frames, that's what I was looking for. And uh, I can get rid of the tags if I want to. I can even get rid of the title if I want to. If, if, I, really, uh, if I really want to make things small, uh, then I can, and I can do that. Um, and then I can also, uh, let me open up the editing version. In the editing version, I can uh, remove a bunch of stuff. I don't tend to use the type or the fields thing. I don't tend to use, well, I use the tags quite a bit now. I can even get rid of the editing toolbar and the title if I wanted to, but that's kind of dumb, especially since I use these buttons quite a bit for this particular process. Um, but as you can see, that opens up a little bit more screen real estate if you need it. Um, and that is about it. Oh, the other thing is I have a way of adjusting the, uh, the the size of the sidebar. If you want the wide sidebar, uh, like I have now, with these are the actuals that you can change. Uh, then you want this. But if you'd rather have the wide tiddlers and have a narrower sidebar, if you don't really need all that space for the column two, you can just plug these numbers into the actuals fields, and you'll have a wider tiddler. So uh, that is the. Um, that is the basic uh, um, workflow and the features I wanted to show you. I'm going to just uh, go ahead and make this larger in a new tiddler so that you can see the link a little bit more clearly. It's https gifmex.org experiments note lines 2.experiment.html. I'm not going to be uh, offering support for this. It's just an experiment. It's just so that you can see how I do things.
but I hope uh, I inspire you to check this out and consider how you can use TiddlyWiki for your own workflows and uh, grab anything from this that you want to uh, as you custom make your own TiddlyWiki. Thanks for your time and I hope this was helpful for you. Blessings to you.